Uh oh, might get a bit wet here. So today, kiddies, I'm going to talk about don't let people tell you what to do and what not to do. Figure it out for yourself. Find out what's best for you. Yeah, I've come to Forest Caves Beach on Phillip Island because uh, there's a nice little rock formation down there. I want to photograph and uh, got my GFX 50R, got the GF 35 to 70 zoom and a tripod and most importantly a coffee flat white because we're Aussies I'm going to talk mainly about using tripods now there's a hot topic <laughs> but let's get down to the beach and then we'll get into it I saw a wallaby over there just before it's a little bush wallaby nice easy walk and I mean walk, I'm not too sure if uh, you had a wheelchair how you'd go with this <laughs> but anyway sign back there says warning no swimming I'm not planning on it they've made it as easy as they can nice walkway up, lots of steps just to get over the hill and then down to the beach so there you go slow incoming tide uh, very very mild waves beautiful spot I want to go over there where those uh, reddish sort of rocks are that's forest cave way over there in the horizon just above the waves you can see pyramid rock which is another nice spot to go to here on Phillip Island full cloud cover today but that's all right I'm not after bright sun. This is why it's called Forest Caves Rock. Because uh, there are some archways and sort of things here with the water coming through. At low tide you can explore this to your heart's content. So lots of photographic opportunities and some more caves out by the end of the rock that go through so the water comes through here underneath where I'm standing and uh, over here it's another entrance Right out at the end, this is where the waves hit. I'm sure we can get some good photos here. I'm just checking where the waves are going before I set up my tripod. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to get drenched. Now, I've seen a few uh, YouTubes lately by photographers who are either praising tripods or condemning them now I just want to go through some of the issues that were raised and uh, give you a bit of my background because it's basically your own experience that decides whether you think tripods are worth it or whether they're a pain in the neck <laughs> okay so my background photojournalist I had to be very very quick with the camera moving around a lot uh, always being ready to take a shot and a tripod never enters the mind of someone doing photojournalism tripods are not for that sort of photography so I never used one for years for professional work no way they were totally useless to me but that's because of the genre that I was working in. Now that I'm retired <laughs> and doing my own thing, 
I'm finding tripods are quite nice. One of the things I'm doing because of the fast-paced action of my work that I'm no longer doing, I'm going the alternative route. I'm slowing down. I'm doing things uh, a lot slower. So that comes to the way I use the camera. I do all manual. Uh, I take my time. I might spend half an hour getting a shot. <laughs> Whereas in my work, it was like 30 seconds and you get three shots. So, tripods then were no good. Now, I'm really enjoying them because they get me to slow down. So, I'm going to set up my tripod here and take my time looking for shots, uh, taking some time exposures, I've got some ND filters for the camera, and uh, we'll just have a lot of fun here because that's basically what I'm about now, enjoying photography. Well, I've just been absolutely and crackingly dumped on by the ocean, standing by the edge there taking those photos, <laughs> and a wave hit, and most of it hit right where I was standing, and I got an absolute bath. I am completely wet, these are just wet, 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 but um, camera got wet, but you know, it's weather resistant, wiped it down, let's crack on. Okay, I'm set up here by this this hole, watching the waves come in. I'm going to do a uh, one second exposure here and uh, smooth it out just a little bit. Here we go. So, tripods. Love them or hate them, they have their place. They might not have a place where you are with photography right now, they might in the future, they might have in the past. They're very useful for some things. And for me, now at, uh, I want to slow down, I want to take my time getting shots, I want to uh, not rush. And sometimes if I'm standing in a place for half an hour waiting for a photo, I don't want to be carrying the camera all that time. So a tripod is great. Another argument some people put up against tripods is they make you lazy. They, uh, they don't give you the freedom to compose a shot because in theory you walk up to a place with a tripod, plonk it down, slap your camera on top and just take the shot, which is ridiculous because <laughs> tripods are there to slow you down and make you think. So when you've got a tripod, you walk up to a spot, you find the composition first. You wander around, you check it all out, and then you set up your tripod, which means you put it where you want the camera to be. <laughs> Not just uh, in front of you, but height as well. Do you want it low down? Do you want it high up? You can mount your camera landscape portrait. You think about your composition first, because you've got the time. You're in that mind frame to take the time to get the shot. So, tripods, they're great, mate.
might get a bit wet here. <laughs> yes, I did. Well, that's all from me, folks. <laughs> Pick up your camera, take it for a walk, and have some fun. Bye. <laughs>